then without any warning, one very rainy Thursday afternoon, we heard this clattering sound of a bus reversing. And all of a sudden, the future had arrived in the form of one of these, which is a National One. So Midland Red and a lot of other companies came up with this modification and put the silencer across the back. What used to happen is this was the main fuel feed. This was a metal pipe originally. This used to fracture, spray hot diesel straight on top of the silencer. And numerous nationals had gone up in flames because of that. His, his idea was, because his team were engineering all the, all the parts, and the bus was very much an assembly operation of everything that we were buying, but I was the end of the line, and therefore it was my job to make sure that his bus was built. To the window the pans, frame, and there was yeah. a huge amount of tooling went into this lot. There was. It was a thin formica, which in the event of an accident, it would shatter and you yeah. would have incredibly sharp um, mm. edges. So what you had to do was, it had to have an aluminium backing. I went through a gap when I finished with buses. I didn't want to know buses. As I've got older, I've suddenly realised not only a career I had, but what a project that was and how good it's turned out to be. Certainly the, the train was quite different from the train that rolled out of the factory in 1985. It had many modifications done to it. In fact, the reliability of the Pacers was broadly similar to 15X vehicles that were operated right. on the same route. So actually, they were, they were, they were pretty uh, reasonably robust bits of kit. 